Hillary Clinton. So this shot was taken early in my career, uh, when I was still getting used to high-profile subjects. Hillary Clinton came to the shoot six hours ahead of schedule. <laughs> um, we were supposed to photograph her at 5 p.m. on a Saturday. Saturday was the only time we could fit into her schedule. We wanted a certain location because at the time she was senator, and we wanted the New York City skyline. So we were all planned for five, and you know, when I, I certainly then, but still now, I'd like to go well in advance of the subjects because we have to load in in New York. You're putting your all your gear in a taxi cab, you don't have a car, and you're unloading on the sidewalk, and then you have to take an elevator up and set up, and then you're just at the beginning of the shoot. You get to the shoot and you want to, you find your, you know, the places that you're, that you're going to shoot and you compose it and you light it and you figure out which lighting equipment has to be moved from one set to the other because for budget reasons you can't have as much as you want, things like that. So I give myself a lot of time. Anyhow, needless to say, it's 9 o'clock on a Saturday morning and I get a call from her PR person who says she wants to be shot at 11. Certainly my assistants on a Saturday morning were asleep. <laughs> my, we, the hair and makeup person we had to find, we had to get into the location, but you know, you had to accommodate, right? So this is what we did. So we went and we kind of scrambled. We went as fast as we could. I'm sure we put her in hair and makeup for a very long time. <laughs> um, and this was this time, you know, I was nervous to meet her and photograph her. But being caught off guard like that really forced me to rely on my instincts. It was, it was quite a challenge. In those years, I spent a lot of time carrying on a conversation, trying to forge a relationship while I was calculating light ratios, making sure the film was loaded and the strobes were firing. Um, you know, you have assistants, or I would have assistants, but there is a one-man band quality to it, or at least it felt like that at the time. It's very possibly why she's, la <laughs> she's laughing. Um, so over time, I got better at both. The technical became second nature, and setting someone at ease more natural. 